everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Subzero Xtabyte and today we are going to be playing some more Roblox. Today is going to be a really fun day because me and Chip are actually in a Minecraft themed map inside of Roblox. It contains all sorts of really cool stuff from inside Minecraft but instead it is made inside this game. We are going to check out what this map has to offer and see what cool adventures we can go on as brave miners. Chip is all ready to go and so am I so let's just jump right into it. This this cave looks interesting. I think if we use this cave as like a home base, we will be able to come back here and use it. This cave reminds me of the first caves you start to reach in Minecraft. When you are playing in survival mode and you decide to finally start gathering wood and mining, you begin to build small camps like this with a crafting table and furnace. So this is kind of cool to see on a Minecraft inspired map. It is like a little resting point for when you need to mine your way into the stone and find all sorts of ores hidden beneath the surface. I can't seem to escape this hole however so let's reset. These Steve statues over here look kind of cool. They are replicas of the Steve model from Minecraft. He is the main character in Minecraft and the character that you play is when you join a game unless you change your skin. In a more recent update, they added Alex, the female version of Steve so that girls can play the game as a character like them as well. Now obviously I do not have that skin because I am sub, and not a girl. I mean it would not make sense if you heard this voice with a girl skin at the same time right? Try imagining that for a minute and let me know how that looks and sounds for you in the comments below because now that I said it I just made myself very curious. This farm looks like what you would find in a village in Minecraft and over here is some kind of swimming pool. Let's take a quick dip although though I know Chip wouldn't really like it. Oh look, it sunk straight it. I thought I would at least float or something. I guess you do sink in Minecraft when you go into the deep waters unless you use Spacebird to waddle your feet and swim to the surface. Let's go exploring some more and check out what else there is to see. Unfortunately quite a lot of this land is barren and just open space and there is even limits to the edge of the map. Sadly this world isn't endless and infinite just like Minecraft's really is. That's a shame but that guy wandering around with a zombie skin looked kind of cool. I wonder if there is a way that I can become a mob from Minecraft. I wonder if there is anything else to do in the small little cave hole den with the furnace and crafting bench. The problem is that whenever I jump in here, I end up getting stuck because I can't jump out so have to teleport to spawn. In Minecraft it would be much easier as all I would have to do is craft myself a stone peacocks and mine myself a staircase out to the surface. I dream so much of one day going into the real Minecraft world but inside Roblox. I don't think it is possible though or ever going to happen sadly. Chip actually informed me that it is scientifically impossible more or less that anything like that could happen. He said there is the tiniest smallest possibility but other than that, there is no chance. I tried to tell him that I hop through dimensions all the time in my videos but he just doesn't believe me. There's four skins it seems like. Okay, there is a few skins to choose from so I am going to have to decide which one I want to wear. I think I am going to go with the Steve one to begin with as that is the most original and the most iconic. Oh wait, it seems like this costume is having a bad reaction with my body and making me invisible. Perhaps I should try on a different skin and see if it will fix the problem. Oh the creeper might work. Guys I am now officially a creeper and Steve combined into one. This is actually really dope. I am a Steve creeper or a steeper or a creep. I'm not too sure which name would fit best exactly but maybe you can tell me in the comments below. I kind of look like Steve but just wearing a creeper costume for Halloween or something. It is rather funny I am not going going to lie. It would be much cooler if I was a mutation between the two however. It would be like a good creeper with a brain. So you could use all that explosive power and put it to good use. Or maybe Steve would just end up accidentally blowing things up all the time. That wouldn't be very fun. There are a few other people that have appeared in my base cave and it seems like one of the guys is dressed as an enderman. He can't fool me though. I know a real enderman when I see one because I am a Minecraft pro and I know for certain that endermen are much 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 taller than that. They are are at least three blocks tall and very thin and slender. This costume is far too fat. My creeper costume on the other hand is basically perfect except for the fact that it doesn't explode. I am not too sure what else to explore at the moment but I think that we will save the portal for last because I have a very funny feeling about it. I told Chip this at the start of the video and he completely doesn't believe me but I told him that I have a special feeling that when we go and try the nether portal on this map, it will teleport us into the real world of Minecraft. I can't wait to try it out but I am saving it until last. In case you didn't know, 
I was going to check out all of these other caves but they are basically the same as the first one. All copy pasted models. In the real Minecraft every cave is different and around every corner there is another adventure. There is so much unpredictability and so many secrets to uncover. I have one massive huge problem with this map at the moment. I cannot actually craft anything at the crafting bench and with the furnace I can't use it or even turn it on to cook some food to eat or smelt some ores to craft into armor. I can't craft, I can't cook. This basically isn't Minecraft at all. I'm really disappointed Chip. I thought this would be the best day ever and I would finally get to teleport into the real Minecraft world but I don't think my luck is looking up to be honest. Maybe we should just give up trying. Oh wait, I forgot. We still need to try out the portal. I really want to see what else this map has to offer but it appears as lots of the red squares require money to make things appear and sadly I don't have nearly enough money to buy all of these things so I am going to have to go and check check out what is actually here. I wish we could just make and spawn stuff like in Minecraft. This green fence all the way out at the edge of the map is very odd. As I said before, Minecraft is really cool because the world is never ending and you can always walk forever. Here in Roblox I am simply stuck on this dirt box. Doomed to be forever wandering around a bound area that I can never have real adventures in. It kind of makes me sad if I am honest with you. Ah oh well, let's keep going and keep happy. Remember guys. There is a portal on the far side of the map and it is crafted like a nether portal. Now I know that from my experience and over all of my videos, whenever I have seen and entered a nether portal, it has teleported me directly into a different dimension, game or world entirely. So my best bet is that the portal here will bring us there. Chip is really doubting it like I mentioned earlier but I have a good feeling and I know that you guys will definitely be behind me all the way. I wonder what is going to happen. I need to stop thinking about it. I need to reset myself back to spawn and get out of this hole again because there is literally no staircase whatsoever and it is so annoying I can't even begin to explain to you all watching along at home. Let's Let's just check out the last few things this world has to offer. Ooh, this farm is pretty cool that we just spawned. It has wheat that has grown which you can harvest in Minecraft and craft into bread. Really tasty bread that you can then eat and gain lots of hunger points from. The soil that grows the wheat also needs to be hound and near a source of water to contain the right conditions to grow the wheat. We are done with checking out everything on this map to be honest. There really isn't too much to find on here anymore now that we have explored most of it. I think now it is finally time to check out the nether portal and see if we can finally be transported to the real Minecraft world. Here's hoping guys. We have been relying on this for all of the video. Time to walk up here and check it out. I am so so hyped for this. It seems like there is actually another portal at the side here by this farm of sorts with a little fence. Let's enter it and prove to Chip once and for all that Sub-Zero X to bite is one of the luckiest people in the entire world. Here we go Chip. See I told you. Wait. Did it work? Where are we? Oh great. This is not good at all. I mean don't get me wrong. It is really cool but is not what I was hoping for. We have been teleported to a Roblox version of the nether and there's a bunch of lava down here. Lava is actually my favorite thing in the entire world pretty much because it is so bright orange so that is cool but I am really annoyed that the portal didn't bring me into the actual Minecraft world. It totally sucks guys. I guess after all of that, my hopes and dreams were dashed and ruined. I had one chance to go and try out the portal and it just didn't work. Ah well guys, I guess this video was okay. I was expecting it to end of a bang with a little bit more excitement but I think I got a bit carried away with what I could achieve. I am sorry I let you all down. I guess I am just doomed to stay down here as a lowly Roblox miner and chill in this cave without much to do. It is a sad life to live but I am going to have to do it as there is no other choice. Wait, what is that you are whispering in my ear chip? I missed an opportunity to test out my theory that if I go through a portal it will bring me to another world. How on earth did I miss such an obvious opportunity? He is telling me that I actually missed the portal in the Roblox world. I need to head back to spawn and see if he is right. Perhaps I just got confused and assumed the portal we did try was the only one on the map. I'm, I have lost all hope guys. I reckon we will end up just going into the nether again. Wait, wait a minute, is that a real pig? The sky is bright blue and I can smell the fresh air. I think I did it guys, oh my gosh. Did I actually do what I was hoping to do? I just killed this pig. I can't be dreaming. Maybe I just teleported to the fake Roblox nether, 
slipped on a banana peel and banged my head on some netherrack and now I am just hallucinating. Or could it be that I have actually been thrown into the real world of Minecraft? I think so guys. I think that the first thing I am going to do is go and hit some trees. That is step 1 in any Minecraft game as wood is essential for everything you do in the game. You need to craft the wooden logs into wooden planks. You can then use the wooden planks to craft a crafting bench which you can actually use to craft everything in the game. With the right ingredients of course. It really is amazing. This is so awesome. Let's go and have a look around and go on some adventures. Now that we are in Minecraft, anything is possible. Even my hotbar has changed so that now I have an inventory and can collect items as if I am in the normal Minecraft game. This is actually insane guys. I don't even know what to say. Have you guys ever tried a portal in Roblox and been teleported to Minecraft? If you guys really like Minecraft as much as me, Make sure to send me tweets and pictures of your different adventures over Twitter. You can follow me at Sub-Zero Xtabyte. Twitter is a really good way to keep in contact with your favorite creators and interact and see what they are up to. I could possibly like your tweet or even retweet it if it is good enough. I am using the wood that I just cut down from the trees because wooden planks can be crafted into sticks and together with sticks and wooden planks, you can actually create tools such as a pickaxe. Now with my trusty pickaxe, I can go and start mining stone. Can you guys see how we already are starting to get a setup similar to what we were seeing in the other world that was in the cave in Roblox? This cave to the side of me looks almost exactly the same as the one that we saw in the other Roblox world which is really crazy. I think now you guys can understand me a little more if you didn't already or weren't aware of Minecraft. Maybe you have never played it before but I highly doubt that. Make sure to comment down below some of the amazing things you want me to do now that I have access to to the Minecraft world. Being in the Minecraft world provides a lot more options and there's so many different servers, worlds and things to do that I could make tons of videos for you guys and I'm sure we would have great fun every step of the way. Notice how I just swiftly hopped up out of that hole using my pickaxe. I was able to dig straight out without any problems or worries whatsoever and I did it all without any problems. Unlike the Roblox world where I was stuck in the cave every time and I had to reset to escape, I think they need to add some sort of magical jump boost to that map or even the ability to mine out a staircase as that would be useful. We now is essentially have everything we need to start our adventures in Minecraft. We have a crafting bench, a furnace and the know-how to achieve anything. I just noticed actually that Chip isn't here at all. He is nowhere to be seen and perhaps it is because Chip doesn't have a Minecraft form. I have only just realized so I have a theory that when I stepped through the portal, it transported me into the Minecraft dimension but if I had to bet, Chip is probably just sitting in a fake Roblox nether somewhere waiting and wondering where I am. I am sure that none of the scanners will work as unfortunately I am in a different universe so they might be a little of in terms of directions. I will have to meet up with him again sometime later. By the way guys, remember if you have enjoyed me exploring this new Minecraft world from within Roblox itself and finding a portal that actually teleported me through dimensions. Make sure you fans at home and faithful viewers leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Remember that liking the video not only helps your creator know exactly what content you guys want and enjoy being produced by the channel but it also makes us feel warm and happy inside and makes us think you like us more. Thank you so much for the support on all of the recent videos as of late. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we leave today I actually have a really good idea so that I never get lost and always know how to get back to ship during my adventures, I am going to build a sign out of wooden planks and sticks and I am gonna place it right on the magical portal so that I will always remember that this portal leads to Roblox. This has been a lot of fun and to be honest I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. This has been my favorite day of the week so far by a lot. It's a shame that Chip couldn't be here for the end of the video but I am sure that he is enjoying a nice warm bath of lava somewhere far away in Roblox right now. My name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I will see you in the next video.